Hello guys, my name is Shavli and welcome back for another episode of Supreme Ruler of the World Conquest of Bast as El Salvador. In previous episode we had a bit of a disaster over here, we lost a lot of units to enemy air assets. But currently we are trying to build a little bit more anti-air units, but it might be that we will have to... Oh, actually that's an idea. It's only gonna take 60 days, but I don't know if we can defend it for that long, so... Let's put it in over there first. That we can probably defend longer. And then maybe one over here. Hold on, what? Oh, okay. We do have one anti-air gun still alive. Let's, just get, let's get it over there. Get these back into the front. We researched Man on the Moon. There we go. So does that give us more research? Not at this moment. That's a bit unfortunate. Aircraft construction is completed in a few days. And then it's gonna take a little bit longer, but once we get the aircraft construction, we can actually get better... I think we can get a little bit better uh, air units somewhere. Somehow. Yeah, we can get this one, but it's actually not all that much better, I think. I mean, it can be useful. Oh, we can get this, which is actually useful. We can then drop our elite forces behind the enemy lines, if need be. Right, well. Now we wait that. Can we actually... Do we have supplies here? No, we do not. Because those supply depots haven't been completed yet. But we'll try to take out that one. Our units over here need to be repaired. We do have anti-air gun over there though. Probably advance a little bit over here. Don't suspect them sending air units that far north. But I guess it's a possibility. We lost a little bit of control over here. I thought we had that, but maybe we did not. Okay, where is it happening this time? Okay then. Now, we could send in the helicopters, but they're not very good at the mid-air targets, so I don't think that's a good idea. What we could also do, I don't know, the range is probably not long enough. Send the air units from here, the, wait a minute. Alright, it's a submarine. But yes, we do have the possibility of loading in more troops from here. Maybe we should start doing that. Not load unit, load into. Let's get the anti air guns as well. Load it in next and then... Well, technically, since we do have a lot of land production here that is probably idle now. Uh, let's try to find one. I mean, there's easier ways to do that. Well, for example there. Let's uh, build more anti-air guns and these were the ones that we might want to do. They got decent attack on mid-air targets. And decent range also. These have a better attack on low targets, but yeah, let's get more of these. Because it would appear that we need them. Badly. And actually, we might want to start getting the ships, the escort ships that we're good against. Uh, oh. Are you, oh, wow. How about we get a couple of these? Those are gonna be insane. Against the air units. And speaking of... Uh, okay, yeah, we're building a capital ship over here, so it's gonna take a while. Let's actually get some over... Okay, we're building ships over there. 
I don't think we're building more in here, but we could actually use the carrier here and other units over there as well to actually carry some of... For example, the whips might be alright, they probably are not better than what the enemy is using in Petrograd, but they might be able to help at least a little bit. And yeah, let's uh, start building more of the... Yugomos. Okay, we are building more over there as well. We're not building any here, so let's build a few over here. Because they only take 90 days each. Of course, it's gonna take a while before we have fleet, but... If uh, we still need the anti-air capacity of theirs, we can easily send them over. Uh, was it Achilles? That was good against the air units. Well, we can check it out actually pretty easy. I think it was Tsunami that was good against the enemy air assets. Or oh, especially good. Do we have any Tsunamis over here then? I don't see any. But I doubt we need the ships that we have around here anymore. So what we could do... Yeah, we do have a Tsunami over there. Let's gather up some sort of... Uh, unit capable of fighting, then we can send in another, you know, a convoy back home to bring more troops in. Right, now uh, do we... oh, wait, no, that's artillery. Well, we do have one anti-air gun over there as well. Let's send it uh, somewhere over there, because pretty much at this point we need all the anti-air assets that we can. Be it ship gun or something else. Are we... we are still producing here, I believe. Yes, and we are actually starting to produce the anti-air guns ahead of the... Okay, I mean, I'm okay with that, now that I think of it. actually unbind all those and make up another group and that is actually my new group okay recombining some of the troops might help in this situation quite frankly send you over there and we can make this into another group now I send you over there And if we can get the navy to help around here, that might help. But it is entirely possible that they will just sink our entire navy, so we need to be careful. Okay, there's a tsunami, Achilles, two beaches, and a capital ship. I'll send you all the way over here, I guess, first. Then we'll send them further. Well, this... Um Convoy will be sent back to Boston, I guess. Right, and these units were about to be loaded in. Over one of those is required. Yep. Uh, we can get another set of stormers. Yeah, we are going to need more troops. That's uh, that's a fact. Question is, of course, that how good quality troops will we be getting? Okay, there we go. Let's uh, send this convoy back. And actually, let's just unload the troops in... Somewhere like here. They can use the railways to get the rest of the way. 
Okay, Russia reaches breakthrough nuclear supercarrier. So we are actually ahead of them in the Navy compartment, I think. Because they can actually get... Okay, we got the barracks over here. That means that we can actually repair units around here. Now the question is, can we get the air defense completed in time? And do we have... Uh, how long until we get a next set of air units built? 71 days over there. Ooh. Actually set up another set of... Uh, the anti-air guns to be built over there. And these are also... about to be ready. Right, well, I mean, we are slowly getting truth back. But the disaster that we experienced here was uh, rather annoying, to say the least. I mean, the, I now understand why Germany hasn't been able to advance much. It's probably mostly because of the air assets that the enemy has. I mean, they are fighting here against T-72 with mounted infantry. Huh. Well, that might also have something to do with it. Yeah, Germany hasn't been able to keep up with the research it would appear. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna send you there. These I'm gonna detach and attach. Now we got a fair amount of more troops here that we can send back. How far is the reinforcement fleet? It's still pretty far away. It's not even using convoy movement, quite frankly. We do have another tsunami here, though, that we could probably send to help. A fair amount of ships here, so let's take these uh, submarines. Oh, Germans have managed to regain control of a lot of the sea there. Send you over there, so you can try to blockade the enemy ships a little bit. Try to give Germany, which is not entirely friendly to us, but it's an enemy of an enemy, so I guess it's fine. Until we destroy them. It's actually January. Oh, there's a helicopter over there. And yeah, we got the capital ship that we could send a little bit closer to the harbor. Now I'd say our blockade over here is doing fine. They've managed to sink quite a few ships, it would appear. But I haven't been able to keep that an eye on what they've been sinking. Probably mostly just transport ships. Okay, well... Let's get all these. Detach and attach. So, 60 seconds is back in action. I'll probably move you into Vipur itself, and let's... Uh, now that it would appear that we are gaining uh, control over here, let's build air defense in there, and even there. Just, you know, set up a big air defense network here, so we can keep on... keep the enemies somewhat at bay. And how long until the... Okay, seven more days and we got three anti-air guns. That's actually going to be very useful for us. Unfortunately, they don't have enough range to shoot three hexes away. But two hexes is better than one. Actually, how long would a radar call call take? We do the smaller one, it would only be 25 days. Actually, no. It is the larger one. But it's also a faster one, so let's build one over there. And that's all the buildings we can do in there, unfortunately. Research breakthrough. Aircraft construction. 
Radar station. Oh, right, that did not unlock anything yet. Okay. From there, at least. But it should uh, unlock that and the heavy lifter. Anything in patrol? Oh, there is patrol now that we can actually get. But I don't think it's going to be very useful. Well, it might be. I don't know. And that one. But not that one or this one. Okay. I mean, help. And we will be able to get the SSA Barnacle, which is something that I think we've already been using, but this might be a better version of it. Okay, this is not SSA, this is SS163. Oh no, Barracuda, not Barnacle. Never mind, it's a very similar name. Okay, let's see, so these are my units. Um, I'm gonna send you over there for the time being. And we'll send you over there. Can we send in more? Or is that all that we have? That is pretty much all that we have. We could attach... Oh! Are you sure you wanna fly there? Friendo. Let's actually send the radar to help over here a little bit. Of course, the range that the radar has is not very high, so I don't think it's going to do much. Right, but we're mostly just waiting for the reinforcements right now. If, if we can get enough anti-air stuff, we might be able to push them back a little bit and hopefully take out a lot of their air units. But that requires a ton of anti-air stuff. And how long until we get the first uh, airfield around here? It's gonna take maybe 10 more days? 9, okay, well, pretty close. And I'm assuming the air defense is going to take uh, 54. Yeah, that's gonna take a while. I mean, do we have... Uh, we only have the helicopters around here, right? Yeah, I would uh, appear so. But we do have the carrier over here that could actually take up for... Is there... There is a troop transport ship as well, so let's load into the carrier. Oh, the carrier needs to go over there to the port. Interesting. I mean, I guess we can send the rest of them over there as well. You'd get some of the helicopters. Okay, so it's carrying now... That's a fair amount of cargo still. So let's see, are there any other air units around here that we could easily send in there? Or that we uh, need over there? I mean, we need all the air units that we can get there, but... Something that can actually fight the enemy would be preferable. I mean, we can send another set of... Uh, Multi-roll. And actually, since we can, let's uh, stop. Well, we could probably send some helicopters as well. I mean, having some of those is not a bad idea. And we can start building more air units over here. So let's... Uh, tactical bomber, that would be... Actually, not bad. Let's get five of those. Then we can build more of... Uh, oh, we're building whips over there already. Okay, where's the closest next one? Over here is a place that we're already building queen bees. Never mind. Well, I mean, there must be some places that we're not really producing air units. For example, here. So let's start building... Uh, I think we need to mix. So build... Uh, oh, I still need one more for a full five. As I like the five, so it's easier to see if we've lost any. We got multi fighters over here that we could probably send in closer and then load into the carrier. 
And I guess we could also start building more area units over here. Probably the mix, actually. Because they seem to be very useful, or very nice design. Okay, laser communication is going to be next. Intelligence efficiency plus 5%, that's actually not bad. And can we... Espionage... Medium... Okay, it might be moving... Or it might not be, I don't know. Never mind. Okay, well, I mean, we'll see if the spies actually get there. I'm not very well versed in the spy or espionage on this game. Oh, it seems to be working. Oh god, there's a lot of units there, and especially a lot of anti-air stuff. So basically, we'll first have to take out their air units in our own airspace. Then we'll have to assault them so we can actually take them out. But that is a lot of units, so taking out that is not going to be easy. Oh, we're having a bit of a problem with electricity. Oh, they're trying to bombard our spy. Yep. That they should did. Okay, there's something over there. Let's uh, take it out. Pause it out. And we still don't have supplies around here, unfortunately. But once we get their supply depots around here, which should take... Okay, five more days. So, I don't know, maybe a week and a half and the supplies should be around here then. And then we might be able to take out uh, Yoensu and then move from there. I got shield guards over there, and I don't actually know how long range they have. No, it's only 8 kilometers, so it's not that bad, and it's mostly low air targets anyway. Okay, so we got some anti air guns this way. And I'm assuming the guns over here should be ready in a day or two. Yep, tomorrow. Right, well, at least we know that they got a lot of units there, so assaulting there will be hard. But maybe we can provoke, the, once we get enough anti-air stuff, we might be able to provoke them to send in their air force, then we can take out the air force. I mean, technically one way to do that would be to attack here, they would probably send in a lot of planes. If we have a row of anti-air guns over here, that might take them out, or well, at least some of them. There we go. Send you this way. Let's actually send you over there. But yeah, I mean, technically that might not be a bad idea. To set up a little bit of defense here so that if they try to move land units we can stop them. But then have a lot of anti-air guns over here. And then take out that one. So they will most likely send in their air units to take my units out, but if we can shoot them down before they actually reach there, that'd be nice, but we don't have the anti-air guns for that quite yet. But hey, at least, uh, well, we'll probably resume construction of the military goods over there. But yeah, the airfield should be ready in a few days. Okay, so I just sunk something. I'm pretty sure it was just convoys again. But at least the blockade here is working pretty nicely.
and we sunk a submarine of uh, Great Britain. Alright, so we are getting some of the anti-air guns. Uh, are we producing anything over here now? We can send you guys to the front. And I'm assuming I already added the... Yes, I did. Still producing a fair few over there. Oh, right. Uh, we can actually send you over there. And then let's uh, build more anti-air stuff. Because anti-air is actually pretty quick to build compared to the infantry. That we use. Hey, we got these ships here. Do we have another tsunami? No, we got... Actually, yes, we do. Let's send you over there as well. Let's send the navy a bit closer. I mean, we might want to do a landing over there at some point. But it's not an important place right now. It's... I'd rather take out the capital first. And then if I can clear out, say, Estonia and all that, then we could uh, worry about that island over there. Really, facility completed in Vasa and East Army. Okay, over there. So the airfields are getting closer. Once we get the airfield over there, we'll just move our... Well, the only fighter that we have around here in the Baltic Sea. Let's take a base in there. I mean, we could probably send you... We'll send you over there first. They will probably notice you and try to intercept you, quite frankly. Because I'm pretty sure that they got some sort of... Well, I don't know, they might not have radars. Okay, the airfield should be ready soon, so if I send you there... Question is, do you have enough uh, time to actually wait until the airfield is ready? Okay, it's not ready yet, so... We'll just send you to... Over there. At least you don't have to fly all the way across uh, the Baltic. Well, not the entire Baltic, but Central Baltic, I'd say. Let's actually send you this way. We'll probably take out that one. Okay, let's send you down south. I don't know if it's going to do anything. We'll send in two of you this way. Oh, well, we shot that one down. Oh, they are sending in the planes now. Holy crap. Okay, never mind. Stand your ground. Well, we did a fair amount of damage on them. They managed to damage one of our units here. Nothing too bad, but I will probably send it to be repaired in... Still... Okay, we got a lot of helicopters here. Does this still have room? It does have a little bit. So let's get more of these loaded in. Okay, now we got another airfield completed in Finland. And where are the whips from there? Okay, we can probably load them into the carrier. And then it might be enough to actually send them across the sea. I mean, we'd probably load in a little bit of something. For example, artillery. No, oh, we got the elite guys over there still. Well, they made troop transport ship, and now I'm gonna send this convoy across the sea. I guess we'll send them to somewhere over there first. They can then decide to do what they want, or what we want rather, after they've arrived. 
Right, so I'd actually say that the first uh, provocation of the enemies was alright. Guessing the airfield is still not completed. Why don't you just re return over that way? Although, didn't we have another... Another one of these uh, airfields around here. Oh, we did. Over there. Okay, yeah. Well, in the meanwhile, let's actually do a little bit more repairing in Northern Europe. And how are the supplies around here? Not yet here. Well, I mean, it should be increasing quite uh, dramatically soon. Okay, now we got the airfield in near the front. That's where we want it. Though we probably don't want to provoke the attack from that guy quite yet, but soon enough. So do we have more anti-air guns that we could send down there? Not really, unless we... I don't think we produce any around here yet. No, it would appear so that we have not. Oh well. But it would actually appear that we've reached the end of this episode, so if you enjoyed it, please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Also check out my Discord and Patreon links down below. But other than that, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.